Hey guys, I'm back with another Cricut Design Space offset tutorial. This video is going to focus on making stickers. I downloaded both of these PNG sublimation designs from Design Bundles from their free section. If you're interested in using these for yourself, I'll go ahead and post the links in the description box below in case you want to download those. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to click on the first design and then click on offset. Depending on how busy or detailed your design is, this might take a while. It's best to just go ahead and let your computer spin until it's done. Right now what we're focusing on is we want some of our offset lines to be connecting or touching. It doesn't have to be perfect. There can be these holes. That's fine. I'm going to show you how we fix that. I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. I'm going to come over here now to our offset and as you can see it says that it's print and cut and that doesn't let us use this contour tool and that's what we need to use to fix all these holes. So I'm going to come up here and change the offset to a basic cut and then hit contour. This might take a few minutes to load. And now you can just click on hide all contours and X out of that and see that got rid of all of our empty spaces. So now I can come back up here. We can change it to print and cut and we can change our color back if we want to. Now that's ready to be a sticker. We can go ahead and flatten that and we have our single piece. So now we're just going to do the same thing with this one. I'm going to come up here to offset. And you want to make sure to play with this because when you first do it, if you see if I lower it, that right here on the S, it's not touching the top or bottom. And we do want them to connect. Otherwise, we're not going to have those holes to fill. So I'm just going to make them a little larger and hit apply. And then we're going to change this to a cut again. Come down here to contour. Hide all of them close out, come back up here, change it back to print and cut, and then you can keep this the gray or most of the time you're probably going to use white. That probably won't show up very well on here. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave it as this gray color. And now I'm going to select both of these and flatten them. And that's it. We are done. I have two ready to print stickers. If you have any questions about this, please drop them down below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.